Hello, it's Lucas from Mercedes-Benz of Eastbourne, and today we have a wonderful C220D Saloon Sport to have a look around. Now, as you can see, we've got the Sport grill with the lovely Mercedes-Benz style uh, smack bang in the middle of it there. LED high performance headlamps uh, illuminating on the road, especially with these lovely daytime running lights just here. And coming around the side, you can see it's finished in the wonderful obsidian black metallic just here which I think works really nicely with the chrome elements around the windows, but also the silver elements on the wheels just here. So as we can see, we've got 17 inch sport alloys here, uh, five spoke design just in there. And I really like these, this new uh, rear light display. I think they uh, really make the, look, make the car look a little bit wider and just set it apart slightly better on the road. Now, as you can see, we've got a lovely large boot back here, 455 liters worth of space, but if you did need any more, you can flip that little switch on the left um, to um, fold forward those rear seats, but you've also got um, carrier bag uh, holders just there on either side. Coming around to the rear passenger's compartment as well, plenty of room in here, uh, as we can see, and a completely new seat design for the C-Class. So finishing wonderful uh, black leather just here. As you can see, they look quite different to the predecessors. Ice fix points on both of the out, outer two seats just there, so lovely and convenient uh, for getting in any baby seats or anything like that. Then in the front, again, new uh, headrest and seat designs in here. Um, really quite striking, actually, uh, the difference uh, in there. And this wonderful new cockpit with new screens that I'll run through in a couple of moments. Now what I'm going to do is have a quick look under the bonnet and then we'll jump into the car itself. So here we have the beating heart of the 220. This is a four cylinder, two liter diesel engine producing 200 brake horsepower, 440 newton meters of torque, and will get you all the way up to 62 in just 7.3 seconds. It can return up to 61 miles to the gallon, and it is a noticeable increase in power over the predecessor uh, on the 220D engine. So now that I've jumped into the car itself, you can see the wonderful floating display for the driver just here. But the bit that everyone uh, focuses on is the wonderful new screen in the middle just here. Lovely and easy to use as a touch screen. So you just prod what you're wanting it to do. So navigation and where to to put in any destinations. It'll even remember your favorites, any destinations that you've sent from your phone or any uh, previous destinations. You can connect up up to two phones simultaneously to both make and receive calls and play any media through. And in radio, as you can see, we have full FM DAB as well as AM stations and a huge number of those to choose from as well. Coming out of here, uh, we can go into the next row. As I said, we've got the media there. We've got apps that we can play with as well. Um, but in comfort, we can actually adjust the ambient lighting. So there's a huge number of colors to play with uh, just in here or even multicolor options as well. Um, just over here so you can change them from Malibu sunset to Venice pink jungle green whatever you'd like to see around the car now actually it's quite bright outside today so you can't see it too uh, much on there um, but it really is very striking indeed especially at night time then just coming down slightly uh, we have our aircon our climate control options just in here I've got it set up to be auto so you don't have to do any extra work you can also set up your, your, your Mercedes Me to recognize your fingerprint to sign into the car as well. We have full eco, comfort, sport and individual driving options as well. So you can get the car exactly how you'd like it to feel. In the um, center console here, we've got a couple of cup holders with varying different sizes available there. Um, USB type C port and wireless charging for your smartphone just in here, as well as a couple of extra USB type C ports in the cubby under the armrest. Coming up to the steering wheel, we still have our touch controls uh, to accept and decline calls, adjust volume, play with the main screen, or adjusting the cruise control speed limiter on the right-hand side. As an all Mercedes as well, we have our drive select on the right-hand side of the um, column. And as you can see, when we go into reverse, we have a wonderful reversing camera pop out just there, and we can put it into drive by pushing the button at the end. Then we have the actual screen itself, which we can adjust, as I said, using the right hand side. We can have navigation in here as the central focus, or you can even have sport displays, which I quite like. Uh, so you can see it almost pulsing away underneath just there. And on the right hand side here, we have heated seats for both the front passengers and the upgraded midline sound system uh, just there, as you can tell by the sign on the speaker.
Thank you so much for watching. I've been Lucas. Uh, you can get me on 01323 465 028 or by calling into the Mercedes Benz of Eastbourne dealership. This has been a C220D, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.